Hi, my name is Bree Woodard. I'm a first year here at Oberlin. I'm a forward on the basketball team and I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Ever since I was young, I was in sports like tennis, soccer. I didn't really try basketball until about the fifth grade. I didn't even know that my mom had played college basketball until I was in high school, but I guess it was in my genes. I loved it from the moment I started. I wasn't always good, but I was always tall, which is half the battle when you're young. It kind of just brought my family together. We'd have pickup games or just play horse outside. So sports has always been a part of my life. When I started my college process, I had never actually heard of Oberlin College. Coach Mo had reached out and kind of just said that they're interested, and we had a whole hour and a half conversation just about Netflix shows and nothing really basketball related, just getting to know each other. I could tell she really wanted to know who I was as a person, and I didn't really see the importance in that until I came here and met the rest of my teammates. And it's just clear to see that they not only have incredible basketball players on the team, but it's incredible people because they understand that connection, like off the court and versus on the court and how they correlate together. So it's kind of the holistic person rather than just the basketball player. Diversity was definitely a big factor when I was looking at colleges. My dad would always have a list of diversity questions ready to go whenever we talked to a coach. And I think that Coach Mo and Coach Shani were a big part of his comfort in letting me go here even because they were just very open about how it's not my job to educate them so they're going to work hard to educate themselves on matters that are pertinent to the African American student life but also they were willing to learn and like listen if I had anything to say ever. I've found multiple communities here on campus where I can immerse myself in the black community like I don't live at A House but they're always welcoming and I go over there a lot or the black student athlete group or my Bible study is even an all black group. I definitely attribute all of my success to the team. I mean, having such incredible teammates and coaches makes you want to push yourself more. Definitely couldn't have done it without them. I mean, specifically my position, I don't get the ball unless someone passes it to me. So very grateful for them.